I am somewhere in a universe unknown. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you can't tell which is which. That's crazy. So this is what a tuned two liter sounds yeah, so like. So this is completely modified. Cause I'm sitting there like, why is it working for him? Cause dad is home. <laughs> <laughs> Whole plan? Yes. Try to sell me on a QB. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, we don't you go out to the dealer to get it. Get it <laughs> I'm just built I'm just built different. Yeah, I'm just built Today I am not working on the E92 M3. It is still in the garage. In fact, I had planned to be on the road to Beamer Invasion LA. And that is not going to happen. What is happening with the E92 M3 is that parts have come in. So I do have DO88 racing spec coolers, the engine cooler, the aluminum radiator, as well as the power steering cooler. What I am waiting on is the DCT cooler, which is still on the way. And that was one of the contributing factors to deciding not to go. Now, in preparation for another event that is happening in November, that is my birthday month, so I am looking forward to this event. This is regarded as the largest automotive event of the year. I think you probably know what it is. It is back out on the West Coast. I won't say anything else about it, but I am scheduled to be there. So with that, today's video isn't about the M3. It's actually about me taking a trip to Dallas to see Rick and his family of Modern Motors. And what I can say is it was actually really, really good. So with that said, I'm going into the coffee shop so I can have some coffee, relax. I'm not turning the wrench, so y'all enjoy. I am somewhere in a universe unknown <laughs> and I am hanging out with uh, Modded Motors and I never been in a Julia 2.0 no I'm lying I test drove one several thousand years ago um, but tuned. yeah 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 but this is tuned this is tuned man this thing looks so good oh and the seats bro I didn't even realize you had the seats. Yeah, of course. Oh, it's about to feel real good in this. Yeah, I got sparkos and everything. Ooh, and I want the sparkos in there, but we ain't got them yet, so. <laughs> we, I am in the Julia 2.0. Ho, 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 ho. All right, you take it easy out for this. Take it easy. Take it easy. Anybody coming? Anybody coming? All right, we're gonna put this thing in race. They do look, they look, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. No, you cannot tell which is which. No, you can't tell which is which. That's crazy. Wow, you can't tell. Dang, man, you stunting on them, bro. Which one has the double the MSRP? <laughs> That's a good question, man. That is. Man, I don't know that I could have guessed which one is which right. without 
coming to the side of it, like straight on. Yep. And then hearing that exhaust. That sounds good. Yeah, that, that sounds good. good. That should sound good. Holy cow. Ready for this or what? Say so. Oh, I know so. Hey. Ours is a 2018. Mm -hmm. ABs is a 2020, um, and we'll get into the specifics of that. Shifter is similar. Where it really changes is the center console. Um, they have like the. This is supposed to be for wireless charging. I don't think this car's option for it. Keep it on real quick. All right. Oh boy. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for an honest opinion. I'm going to give you guys my honest, honest to God opinion. I'm going to start actually before I go into center dynamic. So driving in dynamic now. <laughs> well, it's not a 2.0. <laughs> uh, we're going to change the whole channel. We're going to go buy <laughs> uh, The difference that I love about this versus the Julia QV is this is all wheel drive. And I think it, it plants the power much better than a Julia QB, in my honest opinion. All right, we're gonna do a pass and race. Use two hands here. Stupid. That's stupid. That is stupid. That is stupid. Ah, oh, that is stupid cool. That is it. All right, QB owners, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, hold that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. so used to driving 2.0s I forget what real power feels like shift points are way different very responsive throttle is very responsive interesting you <laughs> soak it in interesting This is your whole plan? Yes. Try to sell me on a QB? <laughs> Interesting. So I've driven a Julia QB. I've driven a Julia QB. Like I said, I knew that this was going to plant the power better because even in a Julia Q4 versus a Julia rear wheel drive, it plants the power way different, very responsive. I love all-wheel drive cars for like, um, like power efficiency, trying mm -hmm. to get all the power down. It feels... It's like an attack dog. Like it's, mm. it's, it's very responsive. It wants to go, and the shift points are very aggressive. Mm -hmm. It feels like my race, but enhanced. Mm -hmm. That you know that extra hundred and something horsepower than well, one hundred and eighty horsepower that I'm missing. It feels very responsive, mm -hmm. very mature, very quick, um, and it handles it very well. Mm -hmm. When I would put it back to the Supra or any of my other cars I've driven, even equivalent power, it feels like, oh man, is this car gonna fall? It's not gonna fall apart, but <laughs> you know. Like in a rocket ship. Yeah, this, it still feels, because the cabin experience is still similar, it still feels very mature. It doesn't feel like, it feels like a good. A teenage sports car. Yeah, versus yeah. like a, a mature 
good in cabin experience. He's mm. still getting a good exhaust now. I don't think the car needs anything from the exhaust perspective. It's very well refined. I get it. <laughs> very well refined machine. Interesting. Mm. Next clip is me going to buy a QB. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, just, let me just let me just get in the seat now. <laughs> And it is a Saturday morning, I mean afternoon. Oh, that's my brother. <laughs> Hold on, I'll let you say what's up. Yo, bro. Hold on. Let me see. Can you hear me? Uh, well, I'm going to let you hear something real quick. I want to do your thing, bro. What is going on, man? How's it going? Good. How you doing? Pretty good, man. This is Ricky from Modded Motors. Hey, what's happening, bro? <laughs> what is going down? <laughs> Yeah, your bro's over here trying to sell me on this QB. <laughs> he came with his sales pitch. He stayed quiet this whole time waiting for me to drive this thing. Yeah, man. He, he, he got me hooked on it, uh, came down and gave me a ride, and man, boy, I was like, it, it, it was night and day different from the first time I rode and the second time, and I was like, bro... <laughs> I was like, at first I wasn't sold, but he came back on that second trip, and I was like, okay, I'm a believer. <laughs> yeah, we're on our way to the dealership after this. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. This thing is bad. Oh. Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, well, we, why don't you go out to the dealer to get it? And get that one. <laughs> oh, he man. said, this one is not for sale. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. That's great. All right. Well, we're going to finish up. Dry. He's out. He's riding it, driving it now. So we're going to finish up. And then when I'm on the way back uh, down to uh, Austin, Texas, I'll uh, give you a buzz. Okay, that sounds like a winner, bro. All right, love you, bro. All right, love you too. All right, later. Later. Yeah. I'm trying to give people my honest opinion because I've been very pro 2.0. Hmm. And now, why is that though? I'm pro 2.0. My main reason for being pro 2.0 being is being affordable. It's affordable. Okay. The mass majority of alpha owners are 2.0 owner. You right. You guys can be live in our conversation of trying to process this right the, re the reality is is most owners and for our subscriber base most people own a 2.0 yeah um and so that's who we're making the content for the, yeah the, the average viewer um and so i'm gonna argue any day of the week that we picked ours up for 18.5 our jewel okay got it from you're talking about the chassis again being top uh top built top down it's a 80 90 thousand dollar chassis that you're picking up for eighteen thousand five hundred dollars there's no yeah car that's going to beat it in this market even now that they're dropping ten twelve thousand dollars you can buy one little little problems here and there for like ten grand six grand there's no car on the market that's going to beat it yeah so everyone was doing qv content and we wanted to jump into a space where we're like okay let's maximize the mods i'm um, actually we had a we, we're at a point where we we're going to, i sold my supra and i was going to buy a qv and a lot of the owners that were watching my content were like, "Hey, are, are you still going to make 2.0 content?" Because mm. we were what like that's we, what you that's, they were watching. And so I asked the audience, and this was like back way like way earlier in our channel. I asked them like, "Would you guys prefer me to go all out with a 2.0? Would you guys rather me build a QV?" And at the time, everybody on Instagram was saying, "Build the 2.0." Build the 2.0, yeah. So we built the 2.0. Now, obviously, like the QV prices have come way down, way yeah. more affordable. You know, ch does it change my perspective a little bit? A little bit, right? Because uh, if you can pick one up for twenty, like we saw, I saw the Stelvio QB for twenty eight. Mm -hmm. What I picked that up over, I mean, I paid twenty four for that. We're talking about a four thousand dollar difference. Yeah, that's no, that's a no brainer. Uh, you know, now the biggest, I guess, the biggest thing at this point would Oof. be. Um, Carlton, 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 
cost of ownership. That's the biggest yeah, thing. Yeah, the, the biggest thing is cost of ownership yep. now, in my honest opinion. I didn't expect the power to be planted as well as it's planted mm. and as good as it. It's the tuning aspect of it that feels really good. I feel with uh, a squadra tune or another aftermarket flash tune, mm -hmm. it would be even better. You take this from 505 to bump it up another 100 horsepower. I know the potential of what that feels like. I know how this can sound with downpipes and I can sound with this. It's, it's unmatched in the market, in my honest opinion. You're talking about if you tune this, Again, talking to you guys because I'm processing everything. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. tune this. This would be, if not better than the Urus, faster, quicker. Fits fits the same amount of people if for the price point. You get a you know, built by Ferrari if you want Stelvio chassis. It's it's a, it's a good uh, built by Ferrari car. Good car. How oh, man. <clears throat> If if my brother heard you say that right now, he'd swear you was eavesdropping on our conversation <laughs> a couple Man. of days ago. Cause that's exactly what we talked about. Really? And we talked about the fact that it would it, it would literally smoke many of the exotic SUVs. Oh yeah, this 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 there's a video of this beating a uh, Huracan, I believe, or an Aventador, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then just smashing. Yeah, it just smoking it. it. Yeah, smash it. It's, it's on all-wheel drive, planting the power really yep. nice. I ain't gonna lie though. Yeah, it, it looks good. It feels good in here, man. I'm not gonna lie. But this is what a sports sports car is supposed to feel like. Or sports seats. These seats, man. I think these seats make it. Make it everything? Hell yeah. I gotta get these seats. Bring it up to tamp. Mm-hmm. The car slowly to turn. This sounds so good though. So this is what a tuned two liter sounds yeah, so like. So this is completely modified. So this okay. is squadra tune, ideal intake, uh uh bon balloon, uh recirculating valve, scylla, blow off valve plate. Uh, down pipe, Rekazoon down pipe, uh, full custom uh, exhaust, valved exhaust. So this has all the bells and whistles. Okay. This is literally, quite literally, maxed out modifications other than a hybrid. There's nothing else I can literally do to the car. Got it. Got it. And this sounds. Whew. So it's pushing what? About 320. Okay. It won't, it won't let me use the full power until it warms up. Right, right, right. Woo! Look at that blow off. That sounds good, right? That sounds good. There you go. It's waking up. Slowly but surely. What I found is that when it's in race and non manual mode, so those check, in light jet, check engines versus. Oh. So well, you know what? I didn't have it in manual mode. I know, I didn't tell you. I, yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Because I'm sitting there like, why is it working for him? Because <laughs> dad is home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the car. Right.
hugged into it. I feel love, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's so much love in these seats, boy. Goodness gracious. Glad I came around that curve a few times. I was getting a little lost, like, where do I go? But sitting in this, it mm -hmm. feels like the Stelvio just condensed. Yeah, it does. It what? does. Which is why I love the Stelvio, because it feels like a sedan, just... Mm -hmm. Just a little bigger. Just a little bigger. you to Alfisimo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling him right after this. Oh, okay. <laughs> 